apologies for the upcoming episode. There might be some audio issues, and I tried my best to try to fix them, but just letting you know ahead of time. Hello everyone, Firemac here, and welcome back to my Endwalker playthrough for Final Fantasy XIV with me, Firemac. And, yeah, I took the time to do those quests, and yeah, I, I just, just had a lot of time to mess around, because background noise was a thing. I might as well ate some breakfast while I was at it, so yeah, we're good, we're refreshed. Let's continue the quest that we left unfinished, which I hate doing in for episodes. The tower and the one further along are both a part of per Perpetia Crystalline. The facility where they archive all of Elpis's observational and testing records. Despite how they appear from the outside, the interior is actually a vast area of magically interconnected spaces. Which, while fascinating, is not the reason we are here, is it? I shall cut my architectural lessons short and see what those two archivists, archivists have to share. If you can find someone to speak with over at the tower, the other tower, I shall join you there anon. So even back then, they always say, I shall join you there anon, anon. You can just say, I'll, sh I'll I'll meet you there. You don't have to say, I'll be there, Anon. <laughs> oh, I shall... Okay. It bugs me. <laughs> Alright. Peripetia Archivist. <clears throat> you have questions for me? Certainly. Just a moment while I conclude my current appointment. <laughs> Indeed, so you could provide a comprehensive log of those behaviors. We should then have a sufficient data for our official records. <laughs> now, what was it you wished to speak with me about? The Chief Overseer's personal research project? And by that I assume you mean Meteon. Such undocumented studies are difficult to track. After all, hardly a day goes past without seeing a researcher trailed by one creation or another. I'm afraid I cannot tell you exactly when Meteon appeared, only that she now spends much of her time at Chief Hermes' side. Although, I do recall an interesting tale my dearest Galene, yeah, Galene shared with me. Ah, Galene is my partner, a fellow researcher here in Elpis. She was returning late one night when she caught sight of Chief Hermes sending me on Heaven's Ward. Heaven's Ward? A host of them. What? <laughs> That's an interesting choice of words. For several days, she would speak of that scene with wonder, describing it as one of the most beautiful spectacles she had ever witnessed. That sounds like a story I should like to hear. Feel and think. <laughs> Mistress Vena, I thought you had already returned to the surface. Permit me to thank you again for your invaluable contribution to our concept placement proposal. Pray do not mention it, as you... As you say, my original plan was to leave after the task, after that task. But I have since become engrossed with Chief Hermes's research. Would you favor me with a retelling of this sight which so delighted your Galene? <laughs> of course, or you could hear it from his lips directly if you prefer. <laughs> At present, she should be observing a subject in Metabaeso's she does enjoy her time there, watching the sea creatures hunt and play, gazing upon the salty waters of the world's oceans, recreated in such sublime detail. I imagine you must find similar joy in indulging your boundless curiosity, Mistress Vena. Even though such pursuits must continually and regretfully <coughs> delay your return to the star. Indeed, they, they do. Tis a rest well deserved and long overdue. I should think 
How greatly have we proposed for the wisdom you accumulated during your travels as Azim. <clears throat> and what would Alpis be without your earlier academic work? The theories you developed served as the basis of many techniques still in use today. Man is a creature of cont contemplation, but none embody that nature with as much enduring passion as you. I, I dare say there is not a soul alive more worthy of a return. I shall rejoice the day you depart on your final journey. I will be honored. Well, shall we take this opportunity to meet with Galene in person? Then allow me to reconfigure the door to the archives here. It will take you up to the skyway and spare you the need to avoid hostile con concepts on the ground. That would be most helpful, thank you. Do 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 Upon arriving at the upper tier, walk straight across the skyway and you will find yourself at the entrance to Metabaeso's Thalassi. Th Thalassi. 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 Galene will be eager to share her tale with you, I am sure! Are you really sure, though? Hey, we at the top, yo! Aw, oh, yeah, exit to the ground floor. I didn't know there was a thing up here. That's cool. Let's go with Vanah. Yo, Vanah. <laughs> the tower head is still part of Parapetia Crystalline. We will need to ask for passage through the upper tier. Mr. Suna, just passing through? Then allow me to prepare the path. If you need further assistance, there is always an observer or two out on the upper skyway. Aw, oh, yeah, pogs, yo, pogs, poggers, poggers, poggle, poggle things. Wait, where are we now? Oh, we're just on the other side. Jeez, is that necessary? I'm tempted to just jump off, but <laughs> that'd be a waste of time. Can I ride my mountain here? Yes, I can. We, 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 we. Wee, 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 wee. <laughs> that door leads to the th the lassi, the lassi, the lassi, the into the th lassi. But perhaps we could trouble this person for assistance with finding Galene. I am she. I'm Galene. I think that's a dude, though. No, that's a girl. Mistress Vena. I was not told to expect we would have prepared an official welcome. Please, there is no need for fanfare. I only wish to speak with Galene, if that might be arranged. Yes, Galene, of course. I will inform her immediately. Ah, uh, but she may be engaged in a testing phase. You could be in for something of a wait. Should I let her know your business is urgent? That won't be necessary. This lovely view will keep us occupied until she's ready to receive us. Oh, yeah. Oh, snaps. Oh, snappity snappitals. Is this going to be voiced? I feel it. I feel like my bones are going to be voiced. <sighs> a delightful breeze and a breathtaking view. Let's play the answers music. I don't know you guys can hear that. To what is it like in the future? My is the world still a beautiful place? Uh, yeah, and it's in its own way. As beautiful as ever. Some parts, yes, others not so much. It's more beautiful here. Dude! Dude. I'm staring at her as I say that. I'm staring at her as I say that. Should I do it? I'm gonna hit on Vanna, yo. I'm gonna hit on Vanna. I'm doing it!
<laughs> Elpis is a place of exceptional beauty in this age, so it may not make for a fair comparison. I wasn't talking about Elpis. <laughs> but that's a cutie, though. You guys gotta agree with me, right? But that's a cutie. While we wait, will you not tell me about your adventures? Well, not the potentous events which led you here, but the simple delights all your own. By learning about the future world, I may gain insight into future me's plans. Hey, she also says future me, like I do. When I'm talking to me that's editing in the future. But more than that, I have an interest simply as a fellow traveler. Short of going somewhere oneself, there's naught more stirring than hearing another's account. She's giggling. Do we're making her laugh? And then that's when I gave it right to her. <laughs> I'm sorry. Every time I see these little very emotional Incredible. scenes, <laughs> oh, that I could have been there to see it. Whenever I see these little like, emotional scenes. It always, I always try to picture a lot of fell in there. It just makes everything ridiculous. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm sorry. How can someone play a lot of fell and take the story seriously? Because I don't think you could. Because it's just so tiny in comparison. <sighs> Yours is a harsh and unforgiving world. Yet in spite of this. Your brethren hold fast to their virtue. To know that the light of mankind's potential still shines, even in that faraway place, it gives me heart. Thank you for regaling me with your tales. I will treasure every word. As you know, I was once a scholar. And among other things, I sought to understand the workings of the world. What exactly is ether? How formed the laws of nature? When sprung mankind? Riddles and mysteries beyond counting. Over the years, I have managed to find answers to some few of them. Yet rather than attain a sense of mastery, the more I understood, the more I came to hold the world and its miracles in awe. We too are miracles, each and every one of us, born of the warm breath of life that traverses the heavens, swirling through eternity. When I fully grasped the improbability of our existence, nothing felt impossible anymore. If it could be imagined, it could be done. Passion swelled within me, an epiphany dispelling all preconceptions of what was natural and true. And a presence without, immense yet intimate, fate perhaps, holding us in its tender embrace. As reassuring as it was intimidating, how keenly aware I became of creation's fragility built as it is upon precarious happenstance. I was overcome with an irrepressible urge to know the world more intimately, to hear its voice, feel its breath. I ventured forth on a journey that very day, so very long ago now.
freed from presumption and prejudice. I saw the world through a newborn's eyes. Everything fresh and new. And so, so beautiful. Lands that stretched on forever. Skies one could drown in. The heartbeat of nature, silent yet strong. And amidst it all a people. Beacons of light and life. Laughter that warmed my heart like naught else before. They are my meaning, and my purpose, my love. And so long as they need help, I cannot return to the star. Perhaps my future self is still waiting for it. A moment she can let go and walk unto the end. Walk unto the end, like an ant walker. Safe in the knowledge that man will find his own way. You, who are our future, tell me this and tell me true. Has your journey been good? Has it been worthwhile? Wow. Asking a real, real deep question there. For all the people I've seen, for all the people I've met. Pray, pray forgive my lateness. Dude, I was about to speak! My observation subject was rather irritable, and it took a while to settle it down. No need to apologize. Your work takes precedence. Besides, we had a pleasant conversation in the meantime. You're too kind. Now then, I'm told you wished to ask me some questions. Indeed. I've an interest in one of Hermes's creations. Meteon. You witnessed a host of them take flight, yes? Oh, that! Yes, yes, I did. It was in the dark of the morn. I'd left the Thalassi after nocturnal observation. Thalassi, get you. As I walked along, I spied a bright light climbing high into the southeastern skies. Then, in an instant, it was gone. Like a shooting star, only rising rather than falling. But then another shot up. Then another... And another! Intrigued, I made my way to the edge to investigate. How many need to shoot off? Jeez. And who should I spy on an isle to the south? But Hermes and Meteon. The Matea, rather. There were lots of them, and I realized they must be the shooting stars that I'd seen. A dazzling spectacle indeed. Have you spoken with Hermes about this? Oh, yes. The sight left such an impression on me that I approached him about his mystery project the very next day. Alas, he said that he couldn't reveal anything just yet, that he needed to conduct further tests. <laughs> it shouldn't be long now, though. Really? He often returns to that isle, and I have a feeling he's nearing a breakthrough. Splendid. We are likewise eager for the details. Well, that is all we wish to ask. Thank you for taking the time to indulge our curiosity. You're very welcome. It's always a pleasure to speak with other inquisitive souls. Oh, and will you be descending now? If so, I shall link the doors for you. Please. Mm -hmm. 
Åh, oh, snaggly sniggledy. <clears throat> Sweet. That was a fun scene, wasn't it? Oh, the gnaw. The gnaw. Oh, the gnaw. Oh, my sweet of Anna. So another piece of the puzzle falls into place. From what we learned thus far, I think we can safely conclude that Hermes hasn't been revealing the details of his research to others. Which suggests that either someone will appropriate his discoveries and make use of them, or that Hermes himself will have a hand in causing the final days. Since we have no reason yet to suspect the former, we should consider the latter more, the more likely possibility. Proceeding under the assumption our next step should be to divine why or even if he might desire such a terrible fate for our star. Woo! I don't think he means it. I think it's just an accident. Maybe. Uh, excuse me for a moment. Just gonna open that up. Then I'm gonna I'm gonna do this. Go whoop whoop de doo. <laughs> da 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 da. Well, my trigger bow friend's not with us. Worthy of his back, Vena has a new course of investigation in mind. I should like to visit the site from which Hermes sent from forth the Metia. If we are fortunate, we might find some hint of what drives his, this research of his. Gillian said she spotted them in the southeast, rising from an isle she could see from the edge. If we stand at the same vantage point, it should not prove too difficult to locate the island in question. Let's take a look, shall we? I'm pretty sure they're talking about an island we can't reach without flying to it. Why? Oh my god, there's more quests. Oh, the quests don't stop popping up. Uh, we'll do those in between recording sessions, as I've always mentioned. And such a long trip. <laughs> Battle stuck though. Is that another player? Yes, they are. They kind of just stand in there, a little oddly. Oh, it's cutscene time. Look, we're clearly looking at that thing right over there. That guy's still wearing their cloak. Which I honestly forgot about. Now, if I were conducting some mystery research, where would I go? Ah, uh, what about that one? Have you the means to fly? It is quite a distance away. No, I don't, because there's still an ether current I need to get, and more freaking... Mm. Hmm, inconvenient, but hardly an insurmountable problem. We need Hades. To me, Argos! <gasps> <gasps> You're the one with Argos. It's Argos, the good boy! My friend, would you mind creating a double to carry Farmaka here over to that island? Mm. Stubborn creature, there is no place on this great star we have not together traveled, and still he remains obstinate in the presence of strangers. Argos has rather exacting standards, I'm afraid.
What? You've ridden him before? Ah, your before meaning my after. Not at all confusing that. Interesting. It is certainly not unthinkable. But speaking of the here and now, the quick solution is for us to face off in a sparring match. Wait, what? Demonstrate to him that you are capable of holding your own against me in battle, and you should convince Argos that you are worthy of his back. And besides, I might even teach you a thing or two in the bargain. Into the bargain. And she giggles. You seem doubtful, but useful lesson or not, it will certainly be a moment to remember a memory of the distant past to cherish. What say you, traveler out of time? Choose your battlefield. I will do what I must, if this memory turns out to be a bad one. Choose your battlefield. Do we get to fight Hyland? I admire your confidence. Clear your mind, prepare your weapons. I will await you at the clearing over yonder. We get to beat up Hyland. So where? Oh, all the way over there. Isn't that where I saw that player? <laughs> it might have. It might have actually been. Oh, it's instance battle time. Oh man, we haven't done one of those in a while. What say you, Argos? The en entity is identical to the one you encountered in Mary Lamatorum, except this Argo is pointedly ignoring you. Damn. Hmm. Shall we begin? Be warned, I'll not go easy on you. Yeah, I think you won't. <laughs> I'm a uh, teeny bitty, itty wincy, wincy bit scarred. I might actually lose here. Screw your strength. Let neither side well. hold back. I was just seeing what you're a paladin, but weren't you a dragoon earlier? I gotta heal. Oh, what? 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 I'm gonna get hit. Oh, don't. Don't change it. Oh, she's changing now. She's a dancer. No quarter. She is good, yo. Probably better. Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Oh god! Ah! 
I'm gonna scare to attack because I might lose the track of that attack pattern. <laughs> You won't be easily overcome, but neither will I. We're not one hour already. What audio? A white mage or black mage? Hard to tell. True arrow? You're a white mage. Okay, alright. Let's not do that. I'm not sure how big those AOEs are going to be. Okay. I'm doing this now. Oh god, that's gonna hurt! Ooh. Yeah, this is, a, this is kinda tough. Not gonna lie, D. It's kinda tough. Oh, 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 this is some Shiva stuff. We've only just begun. Come at me with your all. Link. All of that, that nonsense, oh god. Wait, you're just like, you're exactly like Shiva. Shiva had all these weapons type 2. Very well. Let us move to the final trial. Oh god, a DPS check. I ain't ready for no D DPS checks. Yeah, she's going crazy with those computers. Hello, Miss. Hello, Ma. Okay. Oh, God. Oh, God. Please no more.
Ow. That hurt you. The people of your time are more resilient than I had dared hope. I have seen enough. Have you? And now I'm back to full health. <laughs> that was an intense fight. Was my intent to finish it, but clearly I underestimated you. You tried to kill me, girl. What the fuck? One would think I never learn. I made the same mistake with Asm when we first sparred. Despite being less than half my age, his strength was astounding. What is Asm's real name? As is yours. Tis plain you have weathered considerable hardship. Far more even than your tales would suggest. It seems we have both learned much on our journeys. <laughs> Freaking Argos. It's a good boy. It was a good boy. Argos is a good boy. Well now. I dare say he is warmed to you. This Argos is a good boy. A boon to be sure. He never forgets his favorites and is ever eager to come to their aid. No, behave, Elgato. Stop freaking freezing. Argos will soon have us standing on the very spot where Mitia, Media, or the Media made their departure into the night sky. With luck, we will learn something of Hermes' intentions. My hope is that we find no connection, no festering wish for oblivion. That we might have Hermes and his considerable expertise working for us rather than against us. Yeah, I don't think he's the one causing because the way he thinks now, if if he truly cares for everything, he doesn't want everything to die. He doesn't. So it feels like out of his intentions to try to make every life form live, that um he's gonna end up causing the final days as an accident. That's how I feel like this is gonna happen. Oh, I feel like if he's already intent on killing everything, he wouldn't care about everything dying. It, it, that doesn't seem right. A flower upon your return. Definitely a big cutscene on this one. Lana has Argos and his double at heel. Let us move over to the edge before mounting, shall we? That will allow Argos to catch the currents rising up from below and give us a smooth drive over to the isle. Climb onto Argus's back, and we can be off. You know, I honestly cannot remember the last time he carried anyone but me. Argus motions to his back with his muzzle. You've been given the go-ahead to hop on. Dude, heck yes, we're gonna hop on. Yay, we fly. So I wonder if those people are in flight right now. They must be. Isn't this pleasant? Argus certainly seems to think so. I might have to do a full stream reset because the way Elgato's acting, but so far we're okay. Mm 
Now, what was the name of that tree? No something. Ah, Notoforion. Notoforion. Noetoforion. 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 Brace yourself for the landing. I wouldn't want you tumbling off at the last moment. Oh yeah, cutscene time! Quite a small place. Lacking even the most basic equipment. The present may yield no clues, but we may yet try perusing the past. Have you done this before? All the freaking time. So you cannot control the power freely. Worry not. I shall assist you. Oh, really? Come and stand before me. Okay. There are two ways to see the past. Okay. The first entails peering through the walls of the soul in the moment a subject is recalling a memory. The second requires no subject and is instead a process of piecing together an event from ripples left in the ambient ether. As memories are etched upon the ether of the soul, so too are they etched upon the ether of the world. In this way can history be preserved. Such memories are given to fading, however, and can prove challenging to visit. But come, let us try. Close your eyes. fully functional and proceeding on course towards their respective stars. Estimated time to completion of survey is 108 cycles. End of status report. Severing connection with shared consciousness. Did you hear that, Hermes? All is well. <sighs> Yes. Good tidings at long last. Every step of the way, I've been reminded how little we understand creation. How the universe defies imagination. But soon we won't need to... speculate. We'll know the answers. What others live for. Indeed. And we'll owe it all to you and your sisters. <laughs> I wonder what answers we will get. Whatever intelligent beings that exist out there are bound to be vastly different from us. Diverse in form and culture. Possessed of unique ways of thinking. Their conception of life and its purpose will be no exception. Completely and utterly unlike ours. Utterly unlike... how? <laughs> I have no idea. Yet whatever answers we receive, I will not dismiss them out of hand. No, I will think earnestly on them all. And I will share them with our people, that together we may contemplate our own existence. 
perhaps then our star will become a better place. Not only for man, but for all life. Meteon, as though I gave you wings to soar the heavens, I did not teach you how to walk the earth. So loath was I to bind another living being. In the course of your long journey, you will learn from those you meet, learn to walk and run, and so much more. And when you return, older and wiser, we will have a celebration to mark your homecoming, and coming of age both. Will there be apples, covered in syrup? <laughs> and how are you supposed to eat them? Hmm. Rather than food, perhaps... A flower. Yes. Upon your return, I will gift you a beautiful flower. Your return? Is he talking like all his sisters is one being? So, what is your opinion? Hermes wouldn't wish for the final days. That's what I always said. Hermes is a gentle soul, and yet... I don't think he would... Like I said, I've been thinking that for a while now. I am inclined to agree. As we had suspected, the two are somehow involved. Yet it's difficult to believe that they would deliberately seek to end all life. In light of this, I propose that we reveal your tale to Hermes himself. If he does not wish for the final days as we believe, he may well join us in pursuing a solution. Then it is settled. Let us seek out our friend with all swiftness. Oh, I feel like that's not Could a good not idea. do to let such a pure soul be blackened by tragedy. I feel like something bad's gonna happen. <laughs> the moment we reveal it to him, I, I don't know. I just feel like bad things will happen. There are a number of places where Hermes might be in Elpis. But we could do worse than to look in Kittis's Hyperborea, the largest facility. It stands in Ethoskeletikos Boreas, the Northern Isle. I wonder, Farmac, for an institution which claims to studiously research every species destined for release into the world, did you not question how they find room for them all in so few islands? The answer lies within Kittis itself. I touched upon the practice before back at the archives where a vast area is stitched together out of multiple conceptual spaces. The same holds true for the inf interior of this facility and its magically constructed environs. Tis there, within those sprawling habitats, that the chief overseer and most of Elpis's observers conduct the bulk of their work. Come, the simplest route is via the teleporter north of Point and Oikos. Ugh. Alright. Elgato's cooperating so far. Oh my god, oh, there's so many quests. And there's blue quests now, though. The fact that there's blue quests, guys, we have to do them. Um. Yeah, um. Just looking at the time and mm, 
All right, cool. There are people working on this. Uh, we're just gonna do this real fast. Don't you worry. A little, a little detour at the very end there, guys. Oh wait, there's another fate. Literally where we were. What? What's going on? I can't be the one that takes the aggro for this. Ooh, 
that was fun. I tried to fly. I can't fly. <laughs> Alright, um... I consider that little fate fight as a, a bonus for the episode. But unfortunately, I'm gonna have to end the episode here. And we'll start the next one, like, right after. I'm gonna do the blue quest and then continue the MSQ. That, that's, that's the plan. So this is Firemax saying, Toodles! See you next time. <laughs>